Right after World War II, Morita san, the guy who founded Sony, set as the mission for Sony that they were going to make Japan known for quality. You have to remember, this was a time when Japan was known for、uh, cheap copycat products. And Morita san said, he didn't say we're going to make Sony known. For quality, he said, "We're going to make Japan known for quality." He, he chose a mission for Sony that was bigger than Sony. And when we talk about Earth's most customer-centric company, we have a similar idea in mind. We want other companies to look at Amazon and see us as a standard bearer for obsessive focus on the customer, as opposed to obsessive focus on the competitor. So that's one of the reasons. We work on differentiated products. It's one of the reasons we take a long-term viewpoint on things. You would rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. When I dare to challenge the system that would relegate us to victims and stereotypes with no clear historical backgrounds, no hopes or talents, when I question that method of portrayal, a different path opened up for me—the path to my destiny. When God has something for you, it doesn't matter who stands against it. The road to the bag is definitely tied to your team and the company that you keep. If you are surrounding yourself with different energies that's not on the same wavelength as you, if they're not praying for you, inspiring you, supporting you. For showing you a better way, hello. Remove them immediately. Look who's to the left and to the right of you. Are they like-minded? Are they disciplined? Are they pushing you forward? Okay, guys. Now I just came from the park, and it's this kid teasing me because I have felines on. Now, mind you, I am not a material person. I just wear felines because you know I like the color and I think they're cool. They might they not they might not be what's popular today, but you know that's what I like. So you know, I told the kid, it's not about what I have on my feet. It's about what I have inside my head. No matter what I'm wearing, no matter what I have on, it's about my information, the knowledgeable things in life. These sneakers are not even going to fit you in 20 years from now. So it's about what you have in your mind, your wisdom, your knowledge, the power to inspire others. And parents, please don't raise your children like the. <clears throat> materialistic type, because you know, once they don't have Jordans on or cool clothes, they're gonna feel like they're not important. They're gonna feel like they need the golden or the Jordans or the cool stuff, the popular stuff, to make them feel important. I say, kid, your chances of being a great fighter are good enough to make a good living is about a hundred thousand to one, and if you spend the most of your life trying to be a fighter. And you get hurt, or you don't make it. Your whole life is ruined. It's too late to get education. It's too late to look for a trade or something to fall back on. I say no. Take your education. Take your mind while you quick for developing. Go to school. Learn to read. Learn to write. Be a mechanic. Be a doctor. Be a lawyer. Go now. Learn. Get your mind conditioned. Spend one day. Same with basketball. Same with football. Same with baseball. You can't be like Muhammad Ali or Joe Frazier. And don't think because I made it, I'm gonna tell you to go box. No, get your brains together, box the exercises, but get your brains together, get educated, and get a trade because you might not make it. There's too much risk involved. No, go to school.